is a beautifully soft textured board. Board is thick paper. The board is less than half a millimetre thick, but that's still more than four times the thickness of the paper I put in my printer at home. I suppose it has to be that thick, otherwise it wouldn't stand up as a Christmas card on our cabinet, would it? Yeah, you want it looking strong and stable. Yeah, a bit like me. So we paint and draw our elements by hand, and once we're happy with it, all of the artwork I will scan in and it becomes a digital design. And here's my design on screen. So once I'm completely happy with that, it's been signed off, it will then be sent digitally to plate making. So Greg, this is a printing plate, which is a sheet of aluminium with a light sensitive coating on. In here is a big drum that the plate will wrap around. The drum spins around 2,000 revs a minute and there's a bank of lasers that will move along as it's spinning and that etches away what we don't need and will leave what we do need to print Amy's design. Why don't you go straight from the image onto the cards? Why make a plate first? Because that's what we need to transfer the ink onto the paper. The ink will stick to this plate and then will transfer to the paper. So where do I take this now? You need to go and see Rod on the press, who will use these to print Amy's card. Right. First of all, we have four colours which make up the whole image on the card. So you have a black, a magenta, which is the red, the cyan, which is the blue, and the yellow. Those colours will give you an infinite blend for the card. The sheets go through the entire machine, starts off blank and comes out with a finished image. That's good. That's pretty good. So what we've got in front of us here is a heated plate with six dies. This being the card you're following. The raised parts are the parts that we printed in gold. Like a printing plate, this foiling die also has a raised surface. It's designed to apply shiny foil to specific areas of the card using a combination of heat and pressure. Inside the machine, the dies are now hot enough to melt the glue on the back of the foil and stick it to the card. OK, so we have the sheets up this end, they're fed through on a conveyor, and the machine comes up and stamps the foil into the board. That's your card. Got nice gold finish on it, and it enhances the card quite well. It does change the look of the card completely. It does. Completely. <laughs> It takes less than a second to carve through a 10 centimetre stack of 250 sheets. But my batch of 10,000 will take eight hours to cut into cards. So how are the gems getting onto the card? Mihaela here is putting them on by hand. Uh, she has a very good eyesight and it's quite a fiddly job. She's lifted them off of uh, an acetate sheet and they're self-adhesive. Adam, what's going on over here? This is where we put our smart seal on the card. It holds the envelope and the card together so you don't end up hunting for an envelope when it's in the shops. Also stops the envelope from falling out and it's enabled us to not use plastic around the cards anymore. And this machine, what, what does this do? Well, this is our banding machine. It applies a paper band around a pack of six cards. When these go to retailers, they all go in packs of six and they go on the shelf the shopkeeper will take the band off and then they're ready to sell. This factory turns a sheet of paper into a Christmas card that will bring a little bit of joy to millions of us. Happy holidays. <laughs>